Hi, I'm Jay Cox, and uh, I'm out here and driving through our Red Winery Road vineyard. It's about oh, 8 o'clock in the morning in, in Alexander Valley, and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about frost protection. And one of the reasons we came out here is that we use a particularly strange and interesting kind of frost protection on this ranch um, that involves things called wind machines. Frost matters in the vineyard and in fruit, generally speaking, um, in the spring, right at the time when the vines are just putting on, uh, just, just beginning to bud. And at that time, obviously, also, uh, the weather is much, much colder than it is now. We're past the danger of frost at this point. But during that, peri during that period, when they're just beginning to come out of dormancy, there's an overlap where the weather is still too cold at night for that green part of the vine to be able to withstand. This is our ranch here straight in front of us. And you can look down the hill here and, uh, and you can see these wind machines going down the middle of the field. And there's my dad standing on uh, that third wind machine, the wind machine closest to us there. This is uh, my dad, Stephen. Last time uh, we had him on here, we didn't introduce him. He deserves that. <laughs> uh, all right, so he's going to talk a little bit about why wind machines work. Radiation frosts, which is what occurs here in spring, result from the ground radiating its heat to the black sky on clear nights, and then the air next to the ground gets cold. And one of the things you can do to get a couple of degrees is to have a, a machine like this one in back of me, um, which has a V8 Ford engine and a big airplane propeller and points slightly downward and it stirs the warmer air above with the colder air along the ground and warms the air along the ground from two to four degrees. And usually in this area, that's enough difference in temperature that it protects the vines from frost. What we wanna do, even though you don't have to go up to the top of this thing to start it, still, um, I wanna climb the ladder here and just open up the, the lid and uh, show the motor and the way the thing works because that's just one way to get some sense of scale uh, for how big it is and how odd it is that you turn this whole thing on and then the tower that you're looking at actually rotates around. Um, it's odd to me that it doesn't just fall over. We're at a height of about 32 feet, which is where the uh, warm air is during a radiation frost, typically. The propeller, I think, is something like 12 feet. That's a pretty big thing. The engine's a V8. That's it. And it's probably 50 years old uh, and has only run during its whole life a couple hundred hours. All right, let's see if we can start it up. It's turning, but what it actually does is service a radius of 300 feet all the way around the tower. You can imagine how much concrete there is under the ground here that this thing is anchored to to keep it up in the air while it does that, and also how incredibly stout that tower is. Thanks again for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, there'll be a spot right next to the video on the website where you can write in and ask them. See you later.